Hello everybody, welcome to the Scientist Dream this evening. We are <clears throat> taking a look at Cube by Vason. Because like a, like addictive, not addictive pro, but like addictive cube has not been updated to AUV3, and yet it is still a super duper, super duper cool synth. Okay, so I'm just gonna get on my stream so I can see the chat feed like. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It's capable of some incredibly cool sounds as Cube, yes, yes. Uh, now, if anybody is... Oh, Six watching. Okay, hi. Hello, everybody who's watching. Uh, could somebody say, hello, I can hear you okay, so that we know that we're uh, sort of uh, good to go on the stream, sort of thing. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you very much, loud and clear. Excellent. That's very cool. Uh, okay, so... Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Joe. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Since when I was here, my wife, everybody. Now, Cube is capable of some incredibly cool stuff. Bow. Hi, Tom. Bow. Bow. Now, I like this because when I'm cleaning my keyboard with my dusty cloth here, it sounds like the keyboard's in pain. <laughs> Don't clean me no more. <laughs> so we'll have a look at all this in a sec. Let's have a play with a few more sounds. So alien slang it is is another strange one. So what's nice is on this like this weird sort of wave tabley thing you can actually you can actually move stuff around and change the sound quite drastically actually it's quite nice so <laughs> So these are in the vocal effects section. Some of the sounds you have to be careful of because they're considered. It is so. It is very weird. It's a very strange synth, but it is capable of some excellent, excellent stuff. And still sounds original, you know. I could never work out how to add extra. I mean, there must be a way, obviously, but you can. Oh, yeah, it's got the nice randomizer as well. But I can never work out how to add the extra bits and pieces, mind you. I don't. Trouble is with me is I don't. Uh... I'm not I'm not a programmer, so I just like to like play with the patches and then maybe tweak the odd patches, you know. That's a cool sound, isn't it? One note, look. I might save that. Right, save. Um, I'll save this in arpeggios, and I'll call this. It's a user preset, so I'll call it. Um, I'll call it new arp for now. New arp. Okay, done. And if I go into me uh, user section, where's me blinking users? I'll go into arpeggios. Sorry, um, arpeggios. And down at the bottom here should be my new arp. So here's another arpeggio. Oh, 
Hi Andrew. Hi Sean. And here's the one I've just I've just saved. <laughs> As that one I've just made, I've just made that arpeggio from scratch. I just simply hit the dice at the top of the screen. <laughs> and that's got some brilliant, uh, brilliant harps. We'll stay on the harps while I'm here. I'll close the microphone so you can hear a few of the sounds, but a bit less there, uh, background interference. <laughs> Quite nice actually, because at least you can see what I'm playing. <laughs> so this is cool. So we let's we could we could do all sorts of cool stuff with this. We could move this over here. I'm gonna have to learn how to add. Strike the like, people. Strike the like, please. Really helps. It has this mad, mad. Hi, Alex. It has this mad. Uh, look, it has this mad. Uh, uh, like the arpeggiator is incredible. So these are all the different arpeggios. So once you go into the arpeggio section, it has its own complete set of presets for the arp as well. So we could try, let's try this one. And it should be the set, obviously the same sound. difference why can't i god they're deep these are now these synths right oh like that that's another arpeggio that is i picked a 201 No, I could, uh, no me, no me, Stephen. I couldn't hear any different with, difference with the app. I must have been doing something wrong. Oh, here we go. See, this is another thing. It has, it does have a, a, a superb envelope section here that you can mess around with like i said it's not my bag all the programming and stuff um but you know i know a lot of people do program these uh and get like incredible results um this is a nice sound by the sound of it <laughs> And they do have a superb 
um, effects section. All the various apps have brilliant, brilliant, brilliant effects. Absolutely awesome effects. <laughs> Wavetable stuff is hard to program. I, I I have to agree. I'm gonna do. I might 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 do it tomorrow actually. But I'm I'm I keep meaning to want to get into doing a you know what you know uh, Electribe Wave. But you know what it's now in. I always find the um, the standalone a little bit strange to understand. But now it's inside Gadget, and you can just like record it in into your sequencer and stuff like that. It's fab. And every time I play with don't download, no, no, there's a bug with there's a bug with iOS 13 as well. Jacob made a, a really quick video today. Um, it's if you if you install iOS 13, if you if you use three fingers, you can't play. You couldn't do that on iOS 13 because it will open up another menu. There's nothing to do with the app. I'm sure they'll get it fixed, but apparently it's been around for ages and ages. So I don't think I'll be bothering to uh, up, update it until um, they fix that. I mean, very, very, very rarely play the screen keyboard, but still. There's that, but what else is there, you know? Oh, no, just play with the actual... I did a thing with iWave Station. It's quite nice, actually. You can get some good stuff with it. It comes with so many amazing sounds, anyway, Stephen. It's like the I am. It's like the I, I am. I I the M1. Do you remember the M1, the Korg M1? And of course, similar that that synth, right? The M1. That was it. Was impossible. You couldn't program it. It was a joke. It had the little tiny screen, but it came with so many cool sounds. No one ever bothered. And it was why the DX7 come with the original thirty-two patches, and because because uh, hardly anybody could program the DX properly. That's why from the seventh, from the eighties, all the famous DX sounds are everywhere, and it's it's like one of them thirty-two patches, you know, with with some effects chucked on in the studio because it didn't have any effects built in. But you know, so, but just get into the actual what upgraded, yeah. But if you upgraded it, iOS thirteen on the phone, open a keyboard app and try and play, try and play three note chord like that, and it'll open up a menu. It'll open up another menu to bug. It's a bug. It's just a. It's a bug. What's the difference between that thirteen point one and iPad OS? Is the, is the iPad OS is it like thirteen for the iPad or what? I mean, I have no clue. Um, it's beyond me scope of understanding what Apple are doing. <laughs> Yeah, working it. Yeah, I thought it probably would. I really like that sound. Now, this sound sounds like it might be really nice if we go down there. Yeah, listen to that. That's epic, that is. What's that? Arp pluck. Hi, Michael. That's awesome, isn't sound you see this is i wonder why they didn't port this when they ported some of the others 
to a UV3. Yeah, it's a nice app, and this is a, not an iPad. Here. This is the entry level iPad 2018 9.7, the cheap one, <laughs> the cheapest one. I think even if I, I mean, there's no way I could afford an iPad Pro or anything like that. Like, in fact, I didn't buy this. It's, it's this is I paid monthly, but. I think even if I could afford all the big, 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 big iPads, I think I'd still demo the apps on uh, on the lesser ones, on the smaller ones, you know, because if you kind of work on this, they're kind of going to work on everything. In fact, there was some issues with iPad Pros, weren't there? I'm guessing some of the, most of those have been sorted out now, haven't they? I've got some sort I've come to the conclusion, if anyone's a Patreon, and if you're not a Patreon, why aren't you? Go and become a Patreon for me. It was a dollar a month. Or subscribe to the channel. Or use Super Chat. <laughs> right, no, th listen, seriously. Th so on, on Patreon this morning, I did a, I did a vlog thing. Uh, and my I've got a pain in my chest. It's not chest pain, if you know what I mean, like angina or like heart problem or anything like that. It's like I've pulled a muscle. But I'm thinking now more it's like, um, like maybe a trapped nerve or something. So leads. Some of these sounds are really loud. I'm gonna have to hang on. It is very sci-fi, isn't it, Andrew? You're right. Mr. Pitch. Now, here we go. We, we could, if we went up a little bit higher now, we could definitely get kind of that B, B movie sci fi kind of thing going. What's really lovely about this, a part of the effects, is the delay has a really nice cutoff. You know, it's base, 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 so the delay will filter as it goes on. But it's massive range, so so there's not. Let's turn the feedback right up, okay? We can leave the. Let's turn the wet up a little bit as well. So so at the moment, there you've got this. Uh, let's put a phase on it. Turn that right down. Hi, Mitch. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it, Mitch? It's a lovely synth. Can't program the thing, mate. I'm just like messing with it, you know. <coughs> but so that delay, right? We've got this really massive delay, but the cutoff. Actually, I'll switch that phaser off. The cutoff is lovely. The filtering on the actual details, the delay tails. Check this. So you, you're getting into the realms of it's, if it, you can almost make it like a, a bucket brigade delay. So you get that kind of like very analog tapey degradation as the, as the tails go on. Thank you. 
lovely. I keep, oh, do you know what? I keep getting the ears to make out a solo album. A solo album is just strange noises and weird synth sounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, here we go. What's it? 80s brass. <laughs> It ain't 80s brass, it's just not. Get me versing on the phone now. It's not 80s brass. It is very nice. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Varian. Just joined Patreon. Top job. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I really do. Can't, we can't survive. <laughs> Me job. Can't survive. Can't survive without uh, Patreon support. That's lovely. Do you know, do you remember uh, that TV show, um, Fargo, and it was a movie as well. Brilliant films. I think set in Canada. And uh, it's, it's a cop thing, you know, but it's fantastic. But the music, the music in the movie, I think, and from what I remember watching the what parts of the TV series that I watched, the music in the movie was absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Actually, I'll get on, maybe make this a little bit more realistic. But I loved it, that. I love that kind of. I think a lot of it was real violins and stuff like that. But it's kind of like. It's not that, but it's like that. Oh, he was. William Macy was brilliant in the movie, wasn't he? I love it. I love the man who just falls to pieces, doesn't he, Jordan, the whole film. It's absolutely epic. Steve Buscemi's brilliant in everything, isn't he? It, exactly, Andrew. It sounds like harmonium. Well, the soundtrack's kind of like, it uses that sort of, that kind of droning. That kind of droning effect. And if we take the brightness down just a tiny t titchy bit, I guess it's like cut off, isn't it? It's going to start more, it's going to start to sound a little bit more violinish or celloish than it is harmonium ish. Surprise me that the wood chipper scene was inspired by true events. They've just been showing all the um, Quentin Tarantino films as well on on, on um, was it Net Sky Netflix? One of them, Gold, I think, something like that, or Dave. I think Kill Bill Part Two was on last night. Another filmmaker I really admire. Nice sound, like that. It's cool. It's cool bananas. Nice. You got a lot of really nice, uh, strange sounds. I started with that one. This sounds very old. It sounds like one of the old, the very old Yamaha PSRs or PSS. It was a PSR, I think, by the PSRs. <coughs> Excuse me. When, uh, when um, they first kind of built FM, um, well, when they first started sticking in them little home keyboards. I mean, 
it actually sounds like it's coming through the keyboard speakers, if you know what I mean. There's all it's just got like a low pass on it, a uh, high pass, sorry. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Listen. It's like an MP3 keyboard. A bit like a, 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 a addictive is. But, but, the, the good thing is, yeah, it's very cool, isn't it? But, if you've got, like, this little Artoria, the fabulous little Artoria key step, possibly the best MIDI controller, just brilliant. Also has pressure sensitive aftertouch sort of thing. So you can, by applying more pressure to the Artoria, get a proximity of the, the aftertouch going on. And it actually sounds... Stop it. Now. No, that one hasn't got it. <laughs> Steve, nothing like an accordion. Sounds nothing like an accordion. Stephen plays accordion, don't. <laughs> very well indeed. <laughs> Nice, lovely sound that is. What's this? I A E U rhyme. It's strange, isn't it? That it doesn't actually have like a cut off on the for the synth. It just has this brightness thing that's full on on that. So I don't know what to do about that. Blah. Pads, so though, let's see. Be patient, pad. Okay, I will. Oh, so I guess I've got to hold this for a while. Yeah, that, this is the that see it even says Fairlight voice, which is like the um, in fact, I do, we can actually find it. It's really a loud synth that is, you know. Well, let's see. I can't. I can never remember the power supply here. Let's see. Is this right? Yeah. This is brilliant. I don't know if you've ever seen this. This is the the Vogue, the the Fairlight. I'll keep thinking there. The Fairlight, right? If you set, if you, if you, when you bought one of these, right? Or if you bought one, flipping heck, they were expensive in the day. I mean, mega bucks, sixty odd grand or something stupid. Some of them are even more than that, depending on what you add with them. I think sixty four thousand pounds. Put you the basic version, only a few studios. Trevor Owen had one. I think Kate Bush might have had one as well. Or but what happened was they appeared on everything, but people were borrowing, hiring psalms. Anyway, 
genuinely, genuinely on the back of the real unit, it had the main select switch like this on the Fairlight CMI. And uh, if you didn't have the voltage correctly set for your country, it would catch fire. It would burn. Uh, <laughs> right. It's thingy, isn't it? It's 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 stage lights, Stephen. Right. Anyway, so I've I've set it to the wrong voltage for the UK. <laughs> oh oh no! Select voltage again. Let it burn. I'll let it burn. Listen. Oh, <laughs> it's fab. Select voltage again. Okay. One of the charming features of the original CMI was that if you turned it on with the wrong voltage, it would catch fire. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Right, so anyway, we'll set it to the right voltage. And these are all the original boot-up sounds. And sometimes it doesn't work, just like the original. Yeah, it's worked this time. So, instruments. <laughs> I don't find it now. Instrument, instrument, instrument. Waveform. No, 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 no. Cancel. Oh, I'm trying to find... Right, in, instrument. Disc. Disc. <laughs> instruments. I'm not sure where. Are all voices. Uh, if we go to... Um, Right, I, I, that's good. I haven't got thingy in background mode. Um, oh, where does it say now? Is it humans? <laughs> These are all the original samples. <laughs> Expensive this is, though, I think. Um, so there, that sound, right? Right, you get it, right? So what, the, the Trevor Horn. It's mono as well. Although not all the sounds are mono. Well, I don't think they are. Just that one is. Okay, it does some... Uh... It's just... It's just had an update as well, you know. This has for some for some. Uh... Must be mono. Sure, it was Polly the other day. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not important. But that that sound is what they're trying to make aloud. Not quite the same, but I can see where they were going. But not bad for a wavetable recreation, let's be fair. That's a nice sound. Yeah, used by loads and loads and loads of the Lincoln musicians in the 80s. Peter Gabriel, everybody was doing anything like cool. <laughs> Yeah, well, you you are quite actually about half an hour like I started earlier tonight. <laughs> Don't know why. Oh yeah, because I'm making the curry. Hi, Paul. Nice, nice. Yes, we've been looking at cube, cube. Hi, 
how are you getting on with Digi Sticks? Oh, I love Digi Sticks. It's fab. It's really good. I don't get a lot of time to <clears throat> play with the individual apps. You know, um, I just have to kind of try my best and learn what I can for the videos and stuff. But I'm going to do another one for Digi Sticks um, next week, I think. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it, Herb? Um, it's um, it's it's had some really nice new features. I think there's another update due as well. I think Paul was saying. So uh, yeah, we'll do we'll do one minute when it comes out. But yeah, should be cool. Like the like people if you haven't already struck it. We've done half. So I started at uh, half seven, Jim. I've, I've started earlier because I've got to go earlier. I've just been skipping through in no particular order as well. I haven't done any bases.
God, well, that's deep, isn't it? Hi, Ru I'm not going to be here much longer, Russ. I started earlier tonight at half seven. Because I've got to go in there, uh, make a curry. Well, I haven't got to go make a curry, but you know what I mean. Oh, that's proper. It is proper deep, isn't it? That's prop. This got some nice basses in it. You know, I've probably ignored. I've probably never played the basses before. I've probably completely ignored them. And think, ah, basses, bass in it. You know what I mean? But you've got to have a go at these things. <laughs> <coughs> it's like a. It's almost like a split keyboard. Listen. Do I move the lemon thing? Oh, anyway, go over a little bit. Changes there. It's mad, isn't it? Morph. Get throw that a bit. I'm not sure what a, what's a neuro bass, I'm not sure what that is. Night Jim. Thanks for popping in. It's epic for bass. And we'll finish with a couple of special effects. This is called Spling.
Tell you what, these sounds have got some proper cool frequency ranges going on. Excellent. live streaming ben is live streaming because this stream is in mono so there's not a lot i can do about that. that's the way ios and youtube work together so i stream from my phone you know oh. It's dead. It's for real. God, some, there's some proper interesting signs here. Spooky, any? This will be huge.
This is how long that revamp the revamp tale's going on for. That's brilliant, that is. that everlasting and fading note I will say good evening to you gentlemen good evening to you and thank you for joining me this evening well this evening in UK time um, thank you very 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 much guys for joining us this evening to watch uh, this and to have a having a blast well with uh, oh, back to Omnisphere oh, I wish I had Omnisphere no, but no no Doug stop it because I don't use desktop computers anymore. I, everything's an iPad or hardware. Right, okay, so, guys, bless you. Uh, brilliant. Uh, I thought, I mean, that that eat that massively reverb. I think it's a lovely synth. I think it's great for special effects, but I also think it has, if you're doing synth wave now or dark wave or dungeon wave or any of the other things that might want to wave at you from the 80s, um, this is a good synth to have, I think. And it's getting on now. It's not AUV3. It's a classic. It's a classic, people. Although, like I said, you know, the um, Verse and I've ported a load of their stuff to AUV3 already. So, you know. Anyway, uh, I hopefully I'll see you tomorrow sometime, guys. Thank you very, very, very much for watching and, and joining me this evening. And I will see you guys later. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.